so i'll talk about dispatcher in general today whenever you talk about dispatcher the first things comes in your mind is confusing yes dispatcher concepts are a bit confusing these concepts are not difficult or complex but it seems to be confusing to you as dispatcher related tasks are not on your day to day task list you rely on blogs and documentation for dispatcher related concepts so as having less practical experience these concepts seems to be confusing sometimes these are not as the normal am other task which you perform on your day to day task list setting and configuring of dispatcher you hardly do any time rarely in practical you rarely configure or set up dispatcher from scratch so after this series you will be having all the knowledge about dispatcher you will know how to set up and configure dispatcher there are three ways of configure or setting up dispatcher one is the standard old or free way this no names are not standard i just named it what is that so earlier adobe provide you dispatcher module and one configuration file and now it's up to you how do you want to set up that means it all depend on your architect some people write configuration in multiple files some people write configuration in single file it's completely depend on the architect decision there is no standard guideline from adobe how do you should structure your files to setting up a dispatcher then adobe release a standards standard in the sense they did not made it mandatory but they advise to have the files in a particular folders and a particular structure whenever you create uh, a project now with the latest maven archetype and if you opt to create dispatcher configuration dispatcher uh, configurations created in a standard way there are some standard folders there are some standard files they use sim links even adobe did not made it mandatory it's up to you but you should follow we used to call it dispatcher 2.0 this is not the name actually anyone provided but if you go to internet you'll find sometimes dispatcher 2.0 the third one is dispatcher with docker basically this is for cloud services aem is a cloud services so all these three implementation we'll see in this series we'll see the setting and configuration of dispatcher on windows 10 mac and linux there will be one more scenario where i'll show you uh, how you can install linux on windows as a software and then we'll set up that uh, dispatcher on that machine because many of people don't have linux windows and mac i'll show you in this series i'll show you how you can install apache and other servers like iis and how you can install dispatcher uh, on those servers on a different operating system how to set up and configure uh, dispatcher on various operating systems we'll show the demo the most confusing part of dispatcher is you read blogs you read documentation but the problem is when you start setting up dispatcher it you ended with not working dispatcher reason being is tutorials and the blogs provide you information but at the time you start setting up the what software you will be using what version you will be using that is confusing you do all your configuration but still your setup is not done so what i'll do and what i'll do i'll show you the dispatcher at a particular os at a particular server and before starting i'll tell you what are the version and everything dispatcher concepts are theoretically available everywhere but when it comes to the practical scenario practical scenarios are not available so what i'll try to do whatever i will explain i will make sure i'll show you that theoretical part in practical in practical happening on a machine so throughout this series we will have in each tutorial we will have working session and we'll show you something working which i will be keep explaining as a concept so what is expectation from you for this series first is mandatory thing set up dispatcher in your local in the first few tutorial i'll show you how you can set up on windows 
and Mac. So whenever I release that, I publish that tutorial, please set up that dispatcher on your local. That is mandatory. Otherwise, you won't get anything. You already have a lot of tutorials, a lot of documentation, a lot of blogs, which says theoretically about these concepts. But if you want to learn practical, set up your dispatcher as soon as I publish that tutorial. Follow the series in sequential order. If you over the internet if you land it on a particular tutorial right so I will try to make each tutorial which is not dependent on other but still be, being a different kind of topic you must need some previous knowledge so I would recommend you follow this series from beginning in sequence as I publish tutorial follow in the same way As I will be publishing the tutorial, the same thing you do on your local setup. Let's say if I explain about rules. So whatever I explain, the practical that on your local setup, then only you will learn. And last thing is practice. Practice. If you have something, you are reading something, just practice that on your local setup. After this series, you will understand dispatcher completely and you won't have any confusion and doubt. We'll see dispatcher in detail throughout this series.